everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV and Big Ten Toys.net. And I've got here a totally illegal, bogus, bootleg Bin 10 action figures. So stand by for a bootleg toy review. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to my, one of my YouTube subscribers, The Muck MUQ, who suggested to me, well, that person asked, when am I going to do a Bin 10 review? And I said, I wasn't going to do one anytime soon. But of course I will, but I, you know, hey, Bin 10 fans are my best fans on YouTube. So I felt bad. I so <laughs> found something. I've got better Bin 10 toys to talk about, and I will do in the future. Uh, I know I've got a line on the uh, Ultimate Ultimatrix. The, uh, some, the, the leg I think it's called the Legacy Ultimatrix, the one that you can make it like a billion different ways. I've got a line on that. I will do that probably not till after Christmas because we've got to do some Star Wars. But I got this, so thank you, the Muck MUQ. By the way, that's a character from the Marvel Universe. Is it not? You should explain in the comments. I would appreciate that. But I digress. Let's talk some more about this here. And of course, don't support bootleg toys. I buy these so you don't have to, so you don't get fooled by these when you, if you see them on eBay or something. Because when you buy a bootleg toy, you're taking money away from the guy's manufacturer, right? Manufacturer makes Bin 10, and they need the cash. You know, they pay for their yachts and stuff. No, no. <laughs> they need the money so they can make more episodes because there's like thousands of little people in Korea and China that got to draw those pictures of Bin 10. It takes a lot of time. Okay, all right, all right. Just, all right. Well, let's get a close look at the package anyway. And you can see what they've got here. They package just a mishmash of characters for various uh, series on Bin 10. Uh, you've got here Stinkfly, right? Original series, right? Original Ben 10 with his Omnitrix. Zombozo came in later, right? Which series? Help me out because I can't remember all of them. Also, you got Ultra Ben. That was later, much later. But go back, you got Gray Matter from the original series, right? And Tetrax came in later. It uh, looks like they've got a hoverboard there. Uh, upgrade. I don't think Upgrade was in the first year, was he? Was it the second series? Help me out. And then Rip Jaws was in the first series, right? And then up here, they've got a photograph. Really, what they've done is they've taken a picture of the toys they've been ripping off. These look like it's pictures of authentic Bandai Ben 10 toys from various years, and they've ripped those off. And then here's a picture of Ultimate Humongousaur. This looks like Ben from the new series, the later series. Uh, wow. And then and then look at the back. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, can you see all? Yeah. Uh, blocks and grab attack. And that's a picture of one of the Bandai toys, like the large figures, right? Uh, who is this back here? Help me out. I forget. I don't know which one. Who is that? And then uh, it took me a while to figure out that's hybrid. Again, Ultimate uh, Himongusaur, one of my favorites, uh, and some of the other Ultimate guys. And again, you've got the same guys that were in the front of the package. Really cheesy. And you can see here it says in big letters, Made in China. And make sure, it's okay to rip off, but make sure you recycle. That's what that's saying. But they're so ashamed that they don't even put the name of the company that's making these. Although a smart detective might figure that out from the price code that's down here. Because these little numbers identify, help identify the manufacturer. Unless, it's, unless this could be ripped off also. So, <laughs> All right. You want to get a closer look? Let's let's open this up. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to from our Bentontoys.net fan site, GCB Dash Omniverse uh, fans and Chris Zero X E R O uh, for helping me identify these toys because I'm old and I forget the names of all these characters because you know there's like a million characters in Ben 10, so I forget some. They help me get it straight on what we've got where. So here we got Stinkfly, and you can see actually, to their credit, to these ripoff guys' credit, if you can give them any credit, there's a little bit of articulation. See, I was able to bend the legs a little bit, and the wings some, see? But you look, you can see that the paint job is just awful. There's just a lot of uh, scrape, scrape. It looks like he's been in a toy bin. All of these look like this. You know, like when you throw your toys, which you shouldn't, but when you throw your toys into the box together, you just throw them all together into a box, a bin, and they get scraped up. 
That's what these look like, and they're supposed to be new. It's like what? Well, it's like they went around to somebody's house who had a lot of extra Ben 10 toys and said, oh, let's put these in a package and sell it, and then Stu will come along and buy it, which I will. And also you can notice that the, uh, they do have screws in his back to hold them together, just like the other regular action figures, and the screws are even rusty. Wow, that's weird. Well, that's the uh, stick fly. Okay, and then we go, we get uh, Ben. Yeah, he's all beat up. Look at him. He's all beat up. His pants are scraped and his shoes are scraped up. He does have his Omnitrix, but there's no detail on his Omnitrix. See, there's no green paint and there's no little, those little, that little, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the two little triangles like the uh, sand, sand, hourglass, right? And then, okay, so he came with a hoverboard. And the hoverboard has, looks like it's got those little magnet things, or at least it's got the metal parts. And then the original, by the way, the, the uh, uh, axles are rusted. You know, and, and in the original toys, you had magnets on his feet. Well, there's no magnets on his feet, although he easily stands on it. But they, do, they did put a peg, and he's got peg holes on his feet. So you can put them uh, in the peg hole and stand them up and then sort of push them. Poor Ben. He's got a crappy hoverboard. Poor Ben. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, Zombozo. Help me out. What series did Zombozo first appear in? This toy was, I do have one somewhere I found finally, but when this guy first came out, I could not get him. I think, uh, I mean, the original, the authentic one from Bandai, they weren't uh, widely released in North America, I believe. I did see one in the UK. I don't know why I didn't get it. And then finally, uh, much later, I found one in Asia, I believe. He's in storage somewhere. I have to go get him. He's not as beat up as some of the others, but his head's kind of loose. Uh, Ultra Ben? Uh, at least, yeah. He's, yeah there, stand up, Ultra Ben. And you can move his there. Now, notice they didn't give you the details. You know, in the authentic figure, you would get the UB, right? They put, they printed, they could actually print UB right there on a chest badge. They didn't do that here. The, the cape will detach. And uh, I don't know why you would want to, but yeah. And uh, you can see the screws are rusty. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay, Ultra Ben. Uh, gray Matter. One of the original guys, right? And uh, he doesn't articulate. Not at all. And also, his plastic is kind of sticky. I wonder if I'm going to get cancer. I probably will. This is probably, you know, because, I mean, when you're doing the bootleg, you don't care about the inspections because, you know, toys have to be inspected nowadays. Uh, and so they're going to use the cheapest materials, and those are usually the ones that cause cancer and stuff. So, yeah. You can uh, all come to my funeral. And here's Tetrax, not Diamond Head. I guess he's the same species, right? Because that, uh, that confused me always. Not great work on the head sculpt there. It's pretty bad. He can big seam down the middle. Yeah, his arms move, sir. He stands up easy. The screw's rusty. I can't quite tell. It really recessed. Yeah, big old blocky thing. All right, get, rid, get out of here. And Upgrade, one of the cooler figures. And uh, it was ship that ran the, the, uh, that ran the ship, right? But he was an upgrade species. Was that how that worked? And uh, I wow, look how beat up he is on the front here. Like, it's like they, I, I guess when they're making these, they just, when they get done, they just toss them all in a big pile not using much care, and then maybe they put them on a forklift and move them around, drop them, pick them up again. Every time they move them, they get scraped up even more. And, and maybe they're even putting them in the bin. Because that's one of the things, uh, you know, why these are dangerous to toys. They use uh, the cheap paint because uh, also it's not just cheap, it dries fast. And the fast drying paint had the lead in it and uh, also was more colorful. And that's one of the factors in making the toys is how fast you can make them. That's why they wanted to use the uh, lead paint, for example. Uh, one of the more interesting characters was uh, Rip Jaws. And uh, 
I think he will not stand up very well. <laughs> At least he's got he's got his little outfit, so that's kind of cool. So he has several pieces. There's standing up. Yeah, he's not standing up. And uh, his little jaw thing. Yeah, he's got a lot. You can open and close. There, there stay up. Yeah, hey, Beep. That's cool. Yeah, and he's actually got his little back fin thing. See? And his back. So they, they spent some. Oh, and his Omnitrix symbol actually has the, uh, the hourglass shape in it, the green triangles, which, by the way, did we see these? And the others, no. Nobody else had the Omnitrix symbol on them. Not Stinkfly, no. Nope. Yep, no. Nope. All right. See? That's why you don't want these cheap copies. And uh, was that the last one? I guess it was. Yeah. Rip jaws. Okay. So there, don't buy these bootleg toys, only buy authentic toys. Uh, and now you know uh, Playmates Toys, the guys who make Ninja Turtles, right? They're going to be making Ben 10 Toys next year. And I intend to go visit them in Hong Kong early next month. I'm going to try to get some news from them on what they have planned for Ben 10. They're probably not going to show me any toys yet. But maybe we'll get some information on what they got in mind. Think about what they do with Ninja Turtles. Are we going to see the same thing with Ben 10 toys? Are they going to be bigger or smaller? Are they going to have play sets? Are they going to have vehicles? Come on, guys. That's all I'll be talking to them about. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and join us at Ben 10 Toys.net where we talk about Ben 10 toys all day, all night, every day of the week. And until next time, have a great day. To kill me, I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions, just an empty head filled with the sky.